Oh my goodness. Aren't these guys precious? <laughs> Hey friends, we are out in the pig pen with Katara and today is the day she is in full-blown labor and I think these piglets will be here any minute now. All right, so Katara has passed the point where she wants to nest. She's laying down, which means within a couple hours. I mean, very soon, we should have her pushing out piglets. So I wanted to do a really quick version of the things I keep in my farrowing kit. There had always been a plan to do a full farrowing kit video, and here we are, and it's farrowing time, and we haven't done it yet. So <laughs> we always love to have some trash bags because birth is messy. There will be cleanup. On that note, make sure that you also have some gloves. And I like to also have the long gloves just in case I have to go in. I have only ever had to assist a pig one time out of five farrowings that we've done here on the farm. And it was only for one piglet. So it's very rare that pigs need help, but just in case it is nice to have some good gloves where you're protected if you have to go in. Pigs, just like goats, sometimes have a little bit of trouble getting that first breath with all the fluid in their airways. So we love to have these bulb syringes on hand so I can suck out any fluid that's stuck or the piglet's struggling with. I always like to keep scissors and iodine as well because I want to make sure that I'm cleaning off their umbilical cords and cutting them to an appropriate length. Piglets especially, they're just so low to the ground that you wanna make sure that their umbilical cords are pretty short maybe an inch long or so, because if they're longer than that, they're gonna step on it, they're gonna have a sibling step on it, and it's gonna cause a mess. So cut it to about an inch long, and then make sure you dip it in iodine so everything stays really nice and clean. The last thing that I keep in my farrowing kit is just a notebook or a piece of paper and a pencil. Piglets come out fast sometimes, and with Maishons, they tend to all look really similar, and so I want to be able to mark down how many boys and how many girls as they're coming out, because there is a great chance that once they're all out, I will never be able to count them well again. <laughs> so there you go. A farrowing kit is pretty bare bones and easy, especially when you compare it to our kitting kit that has, you know, a million things for goats. Pigs are pretty great at this whole birth thing, and it really helps that they're enormous and have these teeny tiny little babies. So there's very little assistance that pigs need. But I do love to be here to supervise and to just keep an eye out if we were to have an emergency, I know I can jump in and help. So let's go peek at mama to be and see how she's doing. How you feeling pretty mama? So Katara nested quite a bit today, hence her really, really lovely nest in here. We had thrown in a bale of hay and she really took it and ran with it and added all her own grass this morning. So she has got a really good looking bed for these babies now. After she nested for a while, she laid down for a little bit, which is very normal. They'll nest for a few hours and then rest for a few hours. And typically piglets are shortly after that. So why don't you go lay back in your nest, pretty mama, and push some piglets out. Oh my goodness, you guys, I almost forgot literally the most important thing in the whole farrowing kit, towels. We gotta be able to dry these piglets off as they come out, clear off their little noses, so I need some towels. All right, crisis averted. Now we just wait. Well, it is much later in the day now. It's been like five hours since uh, the beginning of Katara theoretically being in labor and still no babies in sight. On the bright side, I was able to express a little bit of milk, so I know that babies are here soon. We're just waiting. <laughs> Well, friends, we waited all day and still no piglets. So now is the difficult decision. Do we wake up throughout the night to come check on her or do I just wait and see in the morning? I 
I'm too much of a worrywart. I think I'm gonna get up through the night and check on her. So maybe we'll have piglets tonight. Maybe she'll be kind and wait till the morning light, but we'll see. Oh my goodness, you guys. It is the next day. It is like 4 p.m. I have waited over 24 hours for these piglets and they are still not here yet. But you know what? Katara is very clearly in active labor. She's been uh, pacing a lot. She's been whining some. So I know that we're super, super close now. Oh my goodness, you guys. So I keep notes as they go to know how many boys, how many girls. And I figured I just messed up because suddenly I had more on my list than were actually here. And Mama didn't lay on it. I just could not figure it out. Somebody just came out from under the hay. He was already taking a nap. His belly was full, so he was ready for a nap. And he just got back up and he's joined the group again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you just scare me.
All right, I think that's a wrap on Katara's babies. She had seven boys and two little girls. So not the typical humongous Meishan numbers that we're used to, but a really great litter all the same. She did have a few that were mummies. And so um, I know that's something really, really common with pigs, but it's actually the first time we've ever had that here on our farm. Um, so that was something new for us. So I guess technically her litter was a little bit bigger than that, but um, but we typically only count the ones that, that lived. So i um, super happy with all these great piglets. She is feeding them so, so well and uh, doing a great job being a new mama. Oh my goodness. Aren't these guys precious? You ready to go back to mom? Yeah. Go see your mom. Katara is proving to be an absolutely wonderful mom. She has been feeding her piglets, watching over them, being super careful anytime she gets up so she doesn't step on any. I am just so impressed by her. If you want to see more of these piglets in upcoming videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Please feel free to like or leave us a comment below. We love to hear from you guys. Thanks so much for watching.